Hi, this is Kana Babu. Today we are trying to develop a project in ASP.NET. The name of the project is Travel Biz. The main name of the project is to uh, develop a uh, travel agency web application where the customer can book the tickets and he can search the bus and he can book the tickets. So first of all, we will see the abstract of the project. And actually, basically on the project, there are two types of users are there. One is administrator and the other one is customer. That is a simple user. The role of administrator is admin will log in and he will add the bus details. He will add the pickup points. He will add the destination points and he can view the booking details. Whereas a customer or user can search the bus details. He can select the seats. He can book the ticket. He can pay the amount and get the print of the ticket. So here we need to understand about the abstract of the project. If you observe clearly, the title of the project is Travel Biz and the objective of the project is, it is a web application that is an internet based application which was used to automate the enquiries about the availability of the tickets and reservation of the bus tickets. So basically as I told that there are two types of users are there in our project, one is admin, other one is customer. Right, and admin must be the authenticated user. Authentication means it is a process of checking the user credentials. User credentials means username and password. Any user who is having username and password is called as authenticated user. Here, admin must be authenticated. So, he is having the username as well as what password. And admin can add or remove the bus details, and the customer can access the application and uh, uh, he will search the bus details and check the availability of the seats and tickets. So actually we are developing the project by using ASP.NET and uh, the technologies that we are using is ADO.NET and ASP.NET. The language we are using is CSharp.NET. The database we are using is Microsoft SQL Server. Here we are developing the project by using Visual Studio 2013 and uh, the framework that we are using is dotnet 4.5 is it clear so in order to develop the project any project first of all we need to gather the data depending on the requirement so here if you observe this table first of all i gather the data that is the bus details like service number from place to place departure time arrival time capacity travel agency name actually we are developing a project our uh, Website, the main aim of developing this website is all the travel agencies like KCNA Travels or Cavalry Travels or SVR, these all travels can try to register into our website. Is it clear? And a customer can uh, open this website and he can book the tickets for any type of bus, not only for a specific bus, customer can search the tickets for any type of bus through online and he can book the ticket. And here you can see the travel agency name, the bus type, whether it is AC or non-AC. The pickup points, every bus will have pickup points. Pickup points are nothing but the customer can take the bus. For example, the bus is traveling from Hyderabad to Vizad. These are all the pickup points of Hyderabad. It means that customer can catch the bus at BHL or Miyapur or SR Nagar or Amir Pet or LB Nagar. Because uh, in order to do some better business, we are having the pickup points. Similarly, destination points. Destination points are nothing but here the customer can take the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. The fare is 700. Hyderabad to Rajamandri. Or some customers can book the ticket from Hyderabad to Anavaram. Or some customers can book the ticket from Hyderabad to Vizag. In our project, we are having a facility that the customer can book the ticket from Vijayawada to Rajamandri. Or Vijayawada to Anavaram. Or Vijayawada to Vizag also. Similarly, Anavaram to Vizag. Like that. So here yeah, the fare is purely depending on what destination point. Anyway, we will discuss. But initially I gathered the data depending on the requirement and that data I kept in the form of table which is nothing but collection of rows and columns. And the intersection of row and column is called as cell. Right. So here whenever we develop any project, first of all we have to uh, prepare the database. The time of designing the database, here we need to concentrate on normalization. So what is normalization? Normalization is the database design technique which is used to reduce redundancy and dependency of data. Is it clear? So whenever we store the data in the form of table, first of all we have to apply some normal forms. 
EF card has given certain uh, rules to uh, how to store the data in the form of table. Is it uh, based on that card rules? Different normal forms are available. Basically, there are four normal forms are there. First normal form, second normal form, third normal form, fourth normal form or BCNF means buoyancy card normal form. A table is said to be in first normal form if it obey the below rules. A rule number one is single cell consists of single value and each record must be unique. Second normal form, a table is said to be in second normal form if it follow the below rules. Rule number one, the table must be in first normal form. And rule number two, in second normal form we need to identify the functional dependencies. That is key attributes and non-key attribute. Here attribute is nothing but column. Every non-key attribute must fully dependent on key attribute. If any non-key attribute is not dependent on key attribute, then remove that column and throw in a separate table. There must be only one key attribute in a single table. Key attribute is nothing but the important column in the table will become as key attribute. Remaining all columns will become as non-key attribute. So every non-key attribute must fully dependent on key attribute. If it is not dependent, we have to remove that column and throw in a separate table. You know, I will show you that uh, uh, practically. Just uh, here I am explaining the three normal forms. Third normal form means a table is set to be in third normal form if and only. It must be in second normal form. And in third normal form, we need to identify the transitive dependencies. Means indirect dependencies. Functional dependencies means direct dependencies. Transitive dependencies means indirect dependencies. For example, here you, if you observe, if A is depending on B, fully depending on B, and B is fully depending on C, now A is indirectly depending on C. It means that A is partially depending on C. In second normal form, we are identifying the fully dependent columns and in third normal form, we have to identify the transitive or partial dependent columns. Now, let us say, your table is set to be in first normal form if it obey the below rules. Rule number one, single cell comes of single value. What is a cell? The intersection of row and column is called as what? Cell. So, here you say, if you observe here, this cell, it is a single cell. This cell comes of how many values? 5 values. Comma separated values are there. But according to F code, single cell comes of single value and each record must be unique. So after applying first normal form, your table will look like this. Here let us assume SV underscore 1, Hyderabad to Vizag. Same bus. Uh, pick up point BHL, here Vijayawada 700. Miyapur, Rajamandri 800. SR Nagar, Annavaram, 1000. LB Nagar, Vaisa, 1200. Now this table is in what? First normal form. A table is said to be in first normal form if it obey the below two rules. As I told here. Rule number one is single cell consists of single value. Here you observe. Right. So here you say. I divided the cell into single cell consists of what? Single value. And each record must be unique, means no two record must have what? Same values. If you observe last two records, SV1, Hyderabad, Vaisal, last two records are same. If two records are same, we have to delete one. Now this table is perfectly contained in first normal form. According to, so here according to EF code, our table is perfectly in first normal form. Now a table in second normal form, we need to identify the key attributes and non-key attribute. Key attribute is nothing but the important column in the table will become as key attribute. The maximum number of columns in the table must depend on any other specific column. That specific column will become as key attribute. And remaining all columns will become as non-key attribute. Every non-key attribute must fully dependent on key attribute. If any non-key attribute is not depending on key attribute, then remove that column and throw in a separate table. So if you observe here, if you observe clearly, this uh, here if you observe. So after first normal form of table is something like this. Here you see, from place to place, departure time, arrival time, capacity. Which bus is going from Hyderabad to Vizag? SV1. Which bus is starting at 6 p.m.? SV underscore 1. Which bus will reach at 7 a.m.? SV underscore 1. Which bus capacity is 40? SV underscore 1. 
which uh, who, this uh, S1 underscore 1 belongs to which agency Cavari. Is it which bus is AC bus S1 underscore 1? It means that uh, this all like uh, bus type, travel agency name, capacity, arrival time, departure time, to place, from place are fully dependent on SV number. So, so the remaining all columns are not depending on SV number. So what I have done means I divided this pickup points, de uh, destination point and fare are not fully depending on SV number. Because uh, in future the pickup points may change for the bus and the destination points may change and the fare may change. Here what I want to tell here is for pickup points and service number relationship is there but dependency is not there. But in second normal form we need to identify the fully dependent columns most available in the same table. That is these all columns are fully depending on what service number. Whereas pickup point, destination point, fare are not depending on service number. So remove that columns and throw in a separate table. And you can apply normalization for the second table. That is pickup points, destination points, fare. If you observe clearly, now this table is perfectly in first normal form. Destination point is not depending on pickup point. And fare is not depending on pickup point. Fare is fully depending on what? Destination point. So remove pickup point from this table. So your tables will look like this. First one is bus table. And the second one is pickup point. And the third one is destination point. In pickup point, I have given the ID. Pickup point ID. Because always ID is unique. And in destination, I have given DID. So according, after applying normalization, perfectly, we got three tables. One is bus table. Other one is pickup point table. Another one is destination table. Now, uh, these are the original tables for our uh, database. Now, in the next video, I will try to explain the... Um, some other tables. If you have any uh, queries, you can try to uh, log into my Facebook group www.facebook.com slash group slash world of dot net and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Right, I hope you understood. Thank you. Have a nice day. We will continue in the next part.